the Trooms Airport right now. About to go back to Spall Bar, about to go back home, really though. That's what it feels like to me. All right, when you go into most places from Trumza, you're gonna go up that elevator or escalator right there. That's the main, the most of the gates. But when you go into Spall Bar, you gotta go to gate C34. Gotta catch the bus to Terminal C. So that's where everybody's waiting at right there. See, see the shuttle. Bam. Yeah, bust the terminal C. Bam. Every 10 minutes. Check out the nature out here. Oh, I'm excited to be going back. I tell you, I love me some small bar. Y'all gotta get out there. Start my day off right with a nice oil. Get that that maki spurn. You're ready to board. See, when you're coming from the mainland, you always got to bring stuff for people. So I have some stuff for my friends. You know, a little curling, curling straightener or whatever. I got some different things coming from the mainland that I bring my friends in Long Airbnb. Okay, yep, I'm here. Look who I ran into. I ran into my friend Elrica. Hey! Yo, long year being small party and locals headed back. Awesome. Yeah, she's really awesome. It's so weird. I saw her at the airport and I was like, yo, is that Elrica? Oh, wait, I'm in seat 10. Oh, so I'm going to go in the front. But I will see you after, yeah. <laughs> Walking past my seat. Whoops. Airport got an East Burn right here. Yeah. Welcome. touristy stuff than I ever did when I lived here. But I never did a vlog. 
vlog when I live too. So now I have to do it. Boom, boom, boom. Look, that over there, that's my old stomping ground sauce, so Fallbar Pub. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it here? Chica, big Taurus. This is the blue hour. We got my hotel room. Look at that. Sleeping underneath the East Grand. And it's looking right down Main Street. Bam! Let's talk about a room with a view. This is Long European, right here on the main drag. Look at that, it doesn't even look real. Wow. And in my spot. You know, that's where I work. I love that place. Such an amazing bar. Don't, you want to photo bomb me? It's recording now. Oh, Woo! look. Hey. Now they're photo bombing me. <laughs> See, there are actually, in fact, other people on Svalbard, not just me. <laughs> hey, you, what to it do? It's your boy Rob Does It All coming to you live and direct from the world's northernmost town, Long European, Svalbard, and Jan Mayen, Norway. Uh, it's kind of cold. It is, it is kind of cold, but it's not too cold as you see. I don't have my jacket zipped up or anything like that. Um, and I got gloves, but you know, the fingers are out. Maybe I'll put those on a little bit more. Um, we got good news today. And that good news is that, yes, Lindsay, reindeer treats are still 25 cents. Still 25 cents. I'm sinking in the snow, but it's gonna be all right. Um, what was I gonna talk about today? I was gonna talk about um, well, since we're in the super, super, super North Arctic, I want to talk about the Arctic. A lot of people have so many questions about Svalbard. And if you have questions about Svalbard, please put them in the comments below underneath there. And I will answer, I'll try to answer all of them. You know, I'm not such a big YouTuber that I can't answer all my comments. I'm gonna answer all the comments. So whatever questions you got, just let me know. Um, I used to live here. I lived here last year. When I was, if you've been following my journey, my story, um, I was living here. I moved here from New York City while I was waiting for my visa to mainland Norway. And uh, 
I finally got the visa. I feel like I want to move this a little bit, but you know what? It's going to be all right. Uh, I finally got the visa, and so I moved away. And this is my first time back since uh, last summer. And I just wanted to say, like, like the reasons why I moved here was because it's visa free. You don't need a visa to live here. You don't need a visa to work here. So I'm American and as an American, I could just come up here and I could just get a job and I could kind of hang out while I was waiting for my visa in Norway to go through or not go through. I didn't know what was going to happen. So I figured I could just come up here and work and just, uh, and just see. And everything worked out, worked out great. Cause now I live in Trumza. I still live in Nord Nordga. I live in Trumza and uh, I manage a bar out there and it's really dope. Um, but you know, there's nothing like long European. Like to live here, to be here, to be a resident here, pardon me, to come back here and see everyone. It's just like the most amazing feeling in the world. It's such a small village, so everyone knows everyone. So like when I come back and I come in, it's like, oh my God, Rob, what's up? And you just say like, hi to all my friends, you know, and like, oh, Lena, what's up? You know, Ellen, what's up? Charlotte, Dasha, you know, uh, Ulrika, it's everyone. Like they're just so, it's so welcoming because like when you live here, you're part of like a super, super small community. And then, uh, you know, we're all here to work. It's a work camp. So uh, you work hard and you party hard and you just try to have like a good life and uh, save up some money. And speaking of that, okay, hold on. Look, let me tell you. When you work on Svalbard, you get taxed 16%. 16% flat, right? Then you move to the mainland Norway and I'm getting taxed 34%. Oh my God. So that's another reason why people come up here to Svalbard because you can earn money and you can save up. Just imagine if you have like a flat where you're staying with another person or even two or three other people and you're splitting, let's say 10,000 kroner for a room, which is like a thousand euro almost, you know? If you're splitting that amongst two people or three people, four people, you could be paying 2,500 kroner to live somewhere, 500 or 5,000 kroner to live somewhere and then you're also getting paid and getting taxed at 16%. So, you know, that's the appeal why people come up here because like you make good, good money. Like I would have to get paid, I'd have to get paid so much more money to equal, to even equal what I was getting paid on small bar. But that's another story. I'm on mainland and I'm happy to be there. And thank you Norwegian government for my visa. I really appreciate it. But I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, you know, my place could give me some more money, you know, I'll be all right, but that's okay, that's okay. Um, uh, and yeah, and what else was I gonna say? Um, I was kind of freestyling this one just because I have my tripod and I'm out here and I just decided to come and just like talk to you guys. So really, I'm like the realest dude on Svalbard. So just ask me some questions in the comments and I'm gonna try to answer them all. And I don't, I can't think of anything else you know, really, so I could just kind of just, like I said, just show it off to you. You know, it's uh, a snowstorm coming, as you can see, maybe in the snow there, but this is it. Like, this is the town right here. Like, this is part of the town on this side. The other main part is over there. I'm gonna be doing uh, more vlogging. I'm gonna edit a video together, and then I'll have like my whole trip here, my arrival, all of that good stuff. And then I'll have like a ton of YouTube shorts and all that stuff uh, going. So, but I just wanted to make use of my stand and show you guys the town and show off my cool hat and show off my cool hoodie, show off my, you know, got my, got my Z, got my small bar patches on, you know, I'm living my best life. So if anybody out there was ever wondering if you should come to Svalbard, the answer should always be yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that's it. It's your boy, Rob Does It All. And I am going to be signing out as soon as I get my Bluetooth thing here. So, all right. It's Valentine's Day, and it is a blizzard warning. It's a blizzard soon.
tell though. I'm gonna get inside. Oh, so there's a small bar right over there. Look at that. This is the best room. The best room in all of Long European. You could be in the comfort and safety of warmth while looking at everyone else be cold. And every morning they gotta they gotta get all the snow. The snow be coming on the roof. And they gotta get it off and make sure everything is ready and safe. Just had breakfast. Breakfast was fire. Oh my gosh, and look at the view. Chill for a second. The view, bam, right up there. It's so cool, man. Gonna hit up this, uh, hit up the Husky Cafe. It wasn't here. Actually, no, it was here when I left. They had just made it. It just opened when I left. So I've actually never been to it before. Check out Iris. Iris is an owner of the Husky Cafe, and I stayed at one of her Airbnbs. Me and my mom and my brother. In Finsness. Oh. Husky. Now here I am back and I'm leaving Svalbard, but I'll be back soon. And now I'm leaving. Leaving my home, my old home, back to my new home. <laughs> 